In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to modify the player properties in Articulate Engage 360. So we're in our production environment right now. Let's just go ahead and click on the player button. And that's going to open up our player properties window. On this side, you see a preview of the current player, and then over here, the different things that you can modify. And it's all pretty straightforward. So for example, we have a title here. Now something to keep in mind is uh, some of the interactions that you build may have their own little title bar or header bar. You can make a dark or light version of that or turn it off. If you do have like a header bar here and it's the same title as this title, it might look a little funny. So you can go ahead and turn the title off here. And then you'll see it's going to redraw the player and show that there's no title there. And then down here we have our volume and seek bar. Now one of the things I tell people is that if there's no audio in your engage interactions, it's a good idea to turn off the volume control. So we just turn it off here and you can see it's gone. And then the seek bar kind of serves two purposes. One is the seek bar uh, is something that the user can click in or drag and get to a specific point in the interaction. And then the other is you can lock it and then the seek bar could just be like a progress indicator to allow you to see how much more time is left in the interaction. And then of course you can turn the seek bar off and so it's not available. And then if you come up here to colors and effects, again this is all pretty straightforward. You've got your color schemes here, your background color, and then the player fonts. Now as far as the color schemes, you have a few. You have a default and then a few uh, pre-built schemes and you can use those. Or if you want to modify them, just go to Show Advanced Color Editing and then you can see all the different options that you have. So you, uh, when you click in here, you can see you have quite a few options. Now for a person who's just getting started, this might seem a little confusing. That's okay. I just say click on something, I choose a color like yellow, and then you can see what's being changed and then you have a better idea. Uh, and then once you get used to that, everything will kind of make sense. But uh, it's Got a lot of control over the types of things that you can edit in here. So you can really get it matched to your company's brand and the color scheme that you need for your course. And then over here we have text labels. Uh, you've got your different labels here and then the text that you can customize. And as you can see, uh, you have some language choices. And then you can also save or import uh, some other labels that you may be using from other courses. Now the other option here is your browser. You have your browser settings and then your resume and text. So if you look at your browser settings, uh, the course or the interaction is going to play inside a browser. And then you can determine what you want the browser to do. Um, most people just leave it at default. And then the other option here is uh, what happens to the interaction of the player. Do you want it locked based on the interaction uh, size that you have? or do you want it to scale to fill into the browser window? The best looking option is going to be optimal size, uh, but if you give them the ability to scale, they can scale it down uh, in their on their desktop or their window. So it's just a matter of preference and what you want to do. Uh, but you have that choice. And then uh, over here, this is all pretty straightforward. And then over here we have our current player. So you can see you can open players. If you had uh, additional players saved, you'd see the list here. As you can see, you can save them. Uh, you can import or export the interactions and you can always reset it back to what it was. And that's basically it when you're working with the player properties. It's all pretty straightforward. Just go ahead and test things out, see how it works. If you have any questions, jump in the community and ask. And then watch the other tutorials to learn more about Articulate Engage.